Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome back to my channel. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how to design this birthday flyer you're seeing right now on your screen. You can use this one for anyone and anybody, right? It's simple, it's classy, it's beautiful, right? So before we go, if you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, I think I'll beg you subscribe now make comments say something in the comment section so that this video can reach more people right that's the only thing i'm begging of you subscribe comment and share this video on all your platforms support your boy right so without further delay let us get into the video right we open our coral draw right this is our workspace and the size of the flyer is going to be 6 by 7.5 inches 6 by 7.5 inches right now i have this so the next thing i'm going to do after creating my workspace and the layout is that i will now bring the materials that i want to use for this tutorial i will import them how do i do that i'll just right click then come to import right and then I'll locate where I saved the, the materials. And I will copy all of them. I'm going to use this, 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 this. This is the text we are going to use. We'll open it later. And then we'll just import, right? we we'll import them like this. All of them, 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 right? So this is the color palette that I'm going to use. Let me show you the color palette so that you can also use it, right? You can see this is the color palette that I am going to be using, right? You can see the color code for this one. You can see it here, right underneath here. This one, you can see this is pure blue, right? And then you can see this one too. You can see this, right? You can see this red and you can see this dark red, right? That's the color code that we are going to be using for this tutorial. So what's the first thing we are going to do? And I'm going to now come here and draw this like this, right? And then we'll duplicate it like this, right? Let this one come up on top of it a little, right? So the next thing that we are going to do, guys, is that we are now going to now bring this guy like this. We're going to now bring him this way. So bring him this way. And make sure it's facing this side. How do you do that? You come to mirror horizontally, you mirror like this, and make sure it's facing this side, right? So, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to blow it apart. You can even use this for a lady, right? You can use it for a lady, right? That is how beautiful this is. Let's do it well, huh? and then now take your crop to your shape to, and then you crop it up. Let's crop it up like this. Mm -hmm. Let's bring this one to here. Right? Let's bring this one down like this. So the next thing I'm going to do, take my transparency to blend it down like this. I'll blend it down this way. Mm -hmm. I'll blend it down like this. And then I'll be map it. Right? I'll also blend it down this way. Blend it down like that, right? I'll bitmap it, convert to bitmap, and then I'll take my transparency to again and I'll do it this way, right? So, this, this color now, we are going to give it this very color that you're seeing here. This one, let's bring it down here, right? Same color we are going to give this, right? So, let's remove the outline, right? You can see what we have right now. Then we are now going to now bring this one here like this. Bring this one here like this. Right? We are going to now bring it here like this. Like this, like this, like this. Like this, like this, like this. Right? Let's bring it this way. Then you now take your transparency to again, 
let's adjust it where put your transparency to again and apply it this way right you apply it this way you get that right so so the next thing we are going to do let's use this background for a lighter gray for this one right so now that we have this the next thing that we are going to do guys is that we are now going to now bring this background this background that you are seeing here this one right we are going to now come to our uh, trace bitmap up here and then come to outline trace and then we'll come to line art wait for it to load then you click on okay right okay let's delete this white because we don't need it then you now bring it down here right you bring it down here let's put this one right here let's bring this one let's bring this one right here and reduce it a little let's bring it down here right we now bring this one down here like this let's reduce it a little let's bring it here right then we need to duplicate this one this one you are seeing, we need to duplicate it. And then we'll now rotate it like this, and then bring it down here. Right? So that is it. We are now going to now uh, give it this color. Let's let give it this color. Right? Let's give it this color. And then we'll now right click on it, and then we'll click it inside the container. Right, let's adjust this one a little. Right, you see what we have right now. You see what we have. Right, so the next thing that we are going to bring in is this guy that you're seeing right here. We are going to now bring it like this. Bring it this way. Right, make sure it's touching the bottom of this. Let's increase it. Let's increase it like this. Right? So when we do that, we'll now right click on it. We'll right click on it like this and then we'll power click it inside. You see what we have right now? You see what we have? So the next thing that we're going to do, guys, is that we're now going to bring this guy you're seeing here. We're going to bring it here. And then we are going to click on our transparency tool and then we'll come to merge mode. Then we have normal and then we we'll click on add right you see what we have right now then we now move it this way let's increase it right let's increase it and make sure it goes to the back we need to bring this one to the top right just right click on it and say order and then come to back one right so it will go to the back now you can adjust it very well the way we want right you see just to give this kind of illumination on this mask face right here right so the next thing that we are going to do guys is that we're now going to now go to our text right and then open it i'm going to now copy everything that we need everything and then we'll now bring it down here right let's give you white so you can see it so what we are going to copy now is that we are going to copy this guy that you're seeing here happy birthday right and then we are going to now break it down and press ctrl key on our keyboard to separate it right to break it apart we'll now give this one let's make sure it's in uh is in sentence case let it be in sentence case all of them sentence case right and then we'll now increase it like this and then we use a font called mazad follow me too well you will know that i love using mazad there are a whole lot of other font like poppins like um montserrat like um so a lot of fonts chat a lot of fonts but i just like mazat most of the times 
then you adjust it like this mm -hmm. and then we are not going to increase it this way mm -hmm. we we'll increase it this way let's increase it well like this and then we'll now take our uh interactive field too and then we'll drag it this way and then we'll use this blue color this light blue color right you see that and then we'll now uh bring this guy let's copy it and you bring it into it like this and then you come to your transparency too and then you come to let's see add no let's see multiply yes multiply then you just right click on it like this and then you power click it inside I want to click it inside. Okay, let's right click on it and then come to frame type. And then we come to create empty frame type. Right? We can now copy this guy and go inside the container and paste it. Right? You see the effect that it gives it. Right? So the next thing that we are going to do now is that we are now going to uh, reduce this guy and come here. See? I don't like this one this thing it's covering it's not giving the background this thing is not allowing it to show where so what i will do is i'll just come to uh crop to and then come to eraser and then i'll just erase this guy this particular one i'll just erase it right you see now then i'll give this one black right and then i'll come to this place and I will use there is this font that I uh, I'll use this font have any STD I'll use this font right I'll just put it here like this right so the next thing that I'm going to do guys is that I'm not going to come here and draw a rectangle like this right I'll draw it like this right and then i will now take my trust my interactive field too and then i will drag it down like this i'll give this one this color and then i'll give this top this red color then i'll remove the outline right then i'll come to my shape too and then i will make the edges to curve like this and then i'll now come back here come back there and copy this guy you're seeing here I'll copy this guy and I'll paste it here. Right? And then I will use a font called Captain Brook. Right? And then I will I will now make sure it is down like this. Let me reduce this a little. Put this down. Put this down. Right? And then I will now my shape to adjust it this way adjust it like this and then i will increase it so this one i'm going to change this one to a thicker one a thicker font style maybe like this right i'll just leave it this way mm -hmm. so see the next thing i'm going to do now this thing that i use here i will now bring it down here right I'll bring it down here and I'll come to my transparency too and I'll come to normal and I'll come to multiply, right? Multiply, let me reduce the need to and then I will now power click it inside, come to right click and come to frame type and then come to the empty power click and then you paste it inside, right? See what it gives it, right? We can now bring this this guy you're seeing here, you can bring it here, just reduce it a little, and then you bring it down here. Right? You see what I have right now? You see what I have? Right? So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are now going to now bring these ones you're seeing here. This guy is here, we'll bring it 
Daher. Hmm? Bring it down here. Reduce it. Give it the same. Uh, what's that? Uh, this this font. Avena Avena LTSTD. This thing. I'll put the name in the comment section. Check it out. I use it. Right. So if this is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel, guys. Let us grow it together. Right, you see what we have right now. You see what we have, right? So the next thing that we are going to do is that we are now going to now uh, come here and draw a circle here, right? We we'll draw a circle here, and then we use this same color, this color that we have here. We we'll put it here, right? We we'll put it here. If you don't know, I, I right click on this thing and drag it here and copy the color. If you cannot use do that, just use your interactive field to apply the color, right? And then the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm now going to now bring this guy. This guy, I'll bring it in like this, right? Then I'll give it black, right? And then I'll use this same font. That you have here, then I'll come to text, come to fit to part because I want it to go around this thing. I want it to go around, then I'll round reduce the font to like six, right? Six, uh, let me bring it because I need to. Uh -huh. I think this is okay. Let me use six. Then I'll take my shape two and then I will now create spacing. Okay, too much. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think this is okay. Celebration of a true leader and an icon, right? So after that. The next thing that we are going to pick is this date. We are going to pick the date, bring it down here, and paste it. Right? Paste it, and then reduce it like this. And I'm going to use the same fonts that we use here. Right? I'm going to use that same font. Now use our shape to raise it up, and then raise, reduce it like this. Right, we we'll make sure it is centralized. We we'll increase it just a little. Right, you see what we have right now. You see what we have. Let's delete this color code since we have finished using it. Right, you see what we have right now. We are done. Right, if the, if, it's, it's, if, it, if you are doing this for a company, you can put their logo here. Right, just put their logo at this place understand and then you're done that's it you can see how simple classy and beautiful this is so that is it guys if you have any question please drop it in the comment section and i'll see you guys on the next video please if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this channel let's grow it together share this video to as many people as you can help your boy i beg this this channel is taking longer to grow let's try and grow it together and i'll see you guys on the next video, right? Bye-bye.